One of the most tried, tested, and true methods for warming up the sticks and bodies of players, beginner to advanced, also providing lots of reps in a short amount of time, is doing shuttles. Line shuttles are one of the most popular ways to set up a shuttle. Having players lined up in two lines facing each other, approximately 15 meters apart, anywhere between the side boards, in one or both ends of the floor, or whatever space you might be working with. In all of the preceding line shuttle variations, the first player in each line begins with a short run forward, one being in possession of the ball, being sure not to leave too early, which can disrupt the timing of the drill. Variation number one is the loose ball shuttle, starting with a stationary loose ball, not shown here, having players scoop or trap and scoop the ball and then place it back down in roughly the same spot in the middle of the shuttle, running to the back of the opposite line, which is variation 1A. In variation 1B, as seen here, players roll a loose ball to the line across from them, then run to the back of the line they just rolled it to. There's also the one up, one down variation, alternating between a pass and a loose ball, which is variation 1C, and also staggered loose balls, which is variation number 1D, where the lines are 10 meters to the side from one another, with one player rolling the ball to the other player who corrals the loose ball across their body versus directly in front of them. And lastly, loose balls away, variation number 1E, where the player with the ball runs towards the opposite line until they're parallel with the first player in that line, and then slowly rolls the ball away from them, aiming for halfway towards where they just came from. That player picks up the loose ball, then repeats the same protocol, keeping the shuttle going. In variation number two, players pass the ball to the line across from them instead of rolling it, then run to the back of the line they just passed to. As an alternative for beginners, a coach can be a replacement for the line across from the players, with players shuttling through the drill as either passers only or catchers only, which is variation number 2A and 2B, respectively. Depending on the skill level of the players, coaches can request that players pass and catch using their strong hand only, which is variation 2C, catch with their strong hand and pass with their weak hand, which is variation 2D, catch with their weak hand and pass with their strong hand, which is variation 2E, and variation 2F is to have players practice their flip passes, all players in this video passing and catching using their strong hand only, which again is variation 2C. To add competition, coaches can keep track of the consecutive catches made in a row without a dropped pass, with the losing team having to sprint from sideboard to sideboards or some other consequence. Variation number three is the traffic shuttle, which sees four lines facing the middle in a T formation, with players still passing to the line across from them, but now having to navigate their pass through the traffic in the middle. They also have to navigate their bodies through the middle after they pass, having to run through the traffic to the opposite line. The traffic shuttle fundamentally requires more players than variations one and three, which can be done with as little as four players. The traffic shuttle would require at least eight players. Spatial awareness is a big part of being able to be successful corralling loose balls, passing and catching in a game situation. And this drill is a great progression for players as they now have to execute loose balls, passing and catching skills, aka stick work, in a more dynamic environment. The most important lesson here is for players to keep their head on a swivel as much as possible before and after receiving the ball. For more line shuttle variations, please refer to the staggered passing shuttle and the transition shuttle in the video for warm-up drill number 2B.